Are these Mattieri perfumes or French Avenue? They're pretty much the same. Are they though? Are they really? Let's talk about it. Here's some codes to save you some cash on your next Middle Eastern niche or designer fragrances. What's going on guys? My name is Neve. Welcome back to Aromatics. I stopped torturing him with all of the attention. He couldn't handle it and I let him out. So today we're going to be talking about three fragrances, new fragrances from Fragrance World as well. New, new, new. Man, you guys are killing it, but you're making it hard for me to keep up. <laughs> but they've got a lot of good releases, a lot of unique releases as well, just like these. Like I'm I'm personally, I never really dove into Metieri perfumes to the extent that some of the community actually did have a little bit of a buzz about it. So I understand why they were um, inspired by etc. So the first one I want to talk about is one of my favorite ones, and this is called Spicy Amber. Right off the rip, I'm going to tell you that most of these have niche style DNA, obviously. But with that comes also quality. So the quality of these is above designer, above designer easily. I don't want to say that it's exactly niche quality, but with French Avenue, you're talking about the one step below their actual niche line. Factually, you're going to get high quality of ingredients and that's exactly what it should translate into or smell like. So spicy amber reminds me of Incense Suave and Incense Suave has coffee, incense, Madagascar vanilla and resin. So benzoin and labdanum. The labdanum is going to be a little bit of this uh, resinous, floral, leathery nuance along with that benzoin which is slightly piney. Yeah, this is exactly what this is. Pretty piney, a hefty dose of some peppers in this fragrance. If you don't enjoy incense-based fragrances, you will not enjoy this. For me personally, I like that abrasive type of vibe. So that's exactly what it is. It's got this abrasive pepper with some incense and a lot of resins and pine. I enjoy this. The DNA of this one is pretty niche, meaning it's not gonna appeal to everybody. If you like pink pepper, this kind of smells like a fragrance that's been stripped of a lot, except for pink pepper, incense, and resins. It's a simple as that. So it's more than just there are quite a few fragrances that I've referred to as smells like burning resins or frankincense, but there's a, a little bit more than that. The only difference or what makes it a little bit more is the addition of vanilla and coffee. So the coffee in this one, it's like, it's basically like you have a vanilla coffee on the left side and you're burning your frankincense. That's it for incense. So really good. It really does illustrate that picture for me personally, burning frankincense, coffee, vanilla coffee on the left. That's what this one is. So niche style fragrance, pretty good. Quality of this fragrance is really good. If you don't enjoy peppers, if you don't enjoy spicy, you're not going to enjoy that. You really have to be careful. It's extremely spicy, but bang for buck quality for what you're getting. That's outstanding to be able to get something of that quality for the price. But still, you have to factor in the scent profile for sure. So I'm doing my best to help you guys by describing it to the most of my abilities. So next one we're gonna be talking about is Exotic Rose. And to me, this smells like rose patchouli and saffron. The rose in this one smells a bit brighter than your usual rose and the saffron is spicier as well because in the notes of this fragrance, what this one is inspired by, which is called Radical Rose, there's saffron all along with pepper. So a spicy rose, I think this is an excellent fragrance. What you're really gonna get is like that standard saffron rose patchouli combination, but much busier, a little bit spicier, attention grabbing. If you enjoy fragrances such as Portrait of a Lady, this does a similar vibe without the patchouli being so in your face. So for me personally, I Portrait of a Lady is a little bit too much with the patchouli. Imagine that fragrance, more reserved on the patchouli, jam up the rose a little bit. That's what I get with this one. This is an excellent rose fragrance, an excellent rose saffron fragrance. Yeah, this is really good. It smells like a woman that's going to a wedding. High end rose saffron. This is good. The scent profile of this is really good. The execution of this is excellent. Uh, smells pretty expensive in my opinion. And this one also, they're all Eau de Parfum concentrations as well. So that's the second one, Radical Rose inspired by. And Mystic Leather, which is also Falcon Leather. Falcon Leather by Metieri Perfumes is probably one of the most hyped as well. And it's basically like this incense or birch tar and leather, slightly animalic as well. And this gets really close to it as well. Yeah, man, that birch tar is, is there. It's definitely there. It's oud, it's saffron, it's birch tar and a little bit of benzoin and labdanum at the top. The labdanum is really where the, it gets its whole leather nuance. It's much more of like this, uh, just picture this. It's kind of photorealistic for me personally. So you're sitting on like the finest leather. It's fatty, it's supple, and you're by the fireplace and you're just getting to the very end of the fire. So it's a little bit ashy. The embers are still going. The incense is still going as well. That's what this smells like. Super high quality birch tar, leather accords, and oud. This is a really, really good fragrance, mystic leather but you have to enjoy leather incense. It's more high end. I wanted to say holy temple vibes, but it's much more than just that. You get that leather, etc. So if you're going to an event uh, that's really high end, Middle Eastern type of event, etc., nighttime, this I think would shine the best. Or even if you're going to like a cigar lounge, etc., Mystic Leather is a great one. For me personally, I really enjoy these. The one thing that they all have in common is that they're relatively spicy. Exotic Rose or Radical Rose, ladies, this is sex 
sexy if you're into those spicier, raunchier rose fragrances. And gentlemen, you can also rock this one as well. With uh, spicy amber, you really gotta enjoy notes like pink pepper. The coffee is not the star player. That's kind of what really drew me into Insant Suave when I first saw the note breakdown was coffee. Oh yeah, but no, it's coffee on the side with the incense and the resins as well and slight bits of vanilla. And the vanilla undertone really just smells like a part of the benzoin because with benzoin, you get like this balsamic piney with a vanillic undertone. So it just enhances it. And uh, the last one is going to be Mystic Leather. This one's gonna pack the most punch because of that birch tar. And it's like I said, you're sitting on a high quality leather and you have the ash of the fireplace with a little bit the embers right in front of you cooking. That's what this smells like. Moral of the story, these are pretty high quality smelling. If you enjoy any one of those descriptors or the originals and you can't afford it and you want to sample it, etc. I mean, I don't, whatever you want. But these, they're not bad. And the quality of them, pretty damn close to niche. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever heard of the originals, let alone these inspos. And if you have, which one of them out of these three are you most interested in, if any? Make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button. Till the next video, peace.